Hey guys, welcome back. This is Summer from Alibaba Cloud Database Protein. Uh, I know some of you are very experienced in, uh, you know, software engineering, but maybe you are still beginner to GitHub. Today, we're going to talk about how to be a contributor as a GitHub beginner. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Okay. Uh, to become a contributor, you should have a GitHub account at least. So first. Access to github.com and find the sign up button at the top right to create an account. Or if you have already had one, just uh, sign in directly. Then, step two, find a repository you are interested in. For example, input GitHub guidance into the search box and uh, input enter to search. You will see the result in this area. Uh, choose one and click to see the details. This is what we got. Uh, click fork at the top right to clone all the stuff and add it to your own repository. Next, click your uh, profile and you will see the repository shown on your home page. Click and you got this one. Um, this is a new path actually. You can see that it includes your username as a part of it, right? Find the code button and uh, copy the git URL of this project. Then, step 4, git init in command line and switch branch. Open a terminal on your laptop and execute the following commands. It's um, make directory and change directory and git init. Pay attention to the uh, main on the web. All files are in main instead of master, right? So we need to change the branch. Execute git checkout b main to switch to a new branch. Then uh, edit git config to change the default settings. This is what you should change. Name, put your username here email, put your email of the user account, and config the default branch. Then in it again. Next, add remote repository. You should pass what you just copied, git URL here, to add remote repository. Then step 5, download all files from remote repository. Execute git pull origin main to download all the files. And you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, five files. And uh, this is what we just downloaded. Next, step six, make changes and save to your remote repository. First, uh, create a file, then git added, then git status to see the changes you have made. It says you add a new file, then execute git commit. Next, execute git push to commit all the steps you have changed to the uh, repository you just forked from others on GitHub. If you made this error, just uh, try again until it succeed. Next, change to uh, your repository on web and refresh you will see what you just added next step seven submit changes to the author or we see a maintainer of the original repository be sure you are browsing uh, your repository instead of the original one uh, you should be the path that includes your username click the pull request here and you will see this page Again, be sure you are still in your repository. Find the new pull request, click. Review the changes before taking further actions here. After finish your review, just click uh, create pull request here to go to the next step. Then time to submit with key messages about what you have changed. Write down all the stuff you uh, want to tell the author. Uh, title and uh, contents. Then click the button right here. Create pull request. Well, next, if you see this page, 
it indicates that you have already successfully submit. So what you just uh, need to do next is waiting for the feedback. If you received any feedback from the author, you can communicate with him or her right here. Okay, uh, next. Once you received the approval from the author or the maintainer, it means it's time to celebrate for your first contribution. Yeah, it's true. If you go back to the original repository, you are able to see your submit right here. Yeah, congratulations. You just did it, right? Okay, uh, this is all the day. Do you get it? One more thing. These are two open source projects of Alibaba Cloud on GitHub. If you are interested in them, please uh, join us. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.